I'm Wonder Russell of Runic Games. I basically run all the marketing for Runic Games. I'm one of the founding members. When it comes to Hob, I play the game and play the game with people, demo for the press, demo for other people, awesome. you know, run the trade shows, spread the good news, all the YouTube videos and dev diaries and behind the scenes and content that we put out or try to put, you know, try to get in front of people. I'd say some things have changed in the way that we have approached the world shifting mechanics, uh, but that's more from the very when we first announced. Since you guys saw it last year, it hasn't changed that much, apart from just having more content, more polish, um, you know, better fixes for us so that everything you touch hopefully feels better and more intuitive. Uh, and, I, and I think it'll make more sense to like the, the demos that we had last year, like electric was pretty linear and forest was a lot more exploration and people tended to either be the type of player that wanted to go around and be a completionist and find all the little hidden things and then they would take a lot longer to play forest and some people would just like zoom through. And so I think it'll make more sense when you sit down and play the game. There are definitely some changes like this. The World Machine originally was called Prison and had a different purpose, but that's going back to probably our proof of concept when we were, when we were just did the first demo and we announced Hob was 2015, so. Uh, and that demo was, um, isn't really in the game anymore, although we've used, we, it's kind of like been absorbed into what the game is now. So I'd say that's probably the biggest change. Like there are some things that you will still see, like like the giant titan that you run all around on, like that's in there, and you know, and how the sprites interact, and some of the monsters are in there. Um, no sprites in this area, but they're intended to they're hide in the forest. They're actually sentient plants. Yeah, and they help things grow, and uh, they have a culture and their own language. You see more and more about it. Yeah, well, there's some story beats that we have purposefully not talked about so people get to see them and interact with the sprites in a, in a really special way. And and hopefully I like have some interesting theories along the way about who the character is and why why everything is the way it is. It kind of all ties in. And it kind of you have to play pretty much to the end too. And the more you explore, I'd say the more well rounded your theories will be because it is environmental storytelling that's pretty subtle. Um, especially if you're doing a speed run, you're not gonna you're not gonna have any sense of like you're probably gonna be like, what the hell happened at the end of the game? <laughs> but if you you know take the time to find the secret rooms that have we call them the lore rooms, you know you're, you'll you'll learn more about the world. Um, we want you to see that things are unfinished um, and have your own theories on was this abandoned or what or is the civil or did the civilization just fall into disrepair you see um, competing life forms you see like that purple rogue life is uh, and you'll see that more and more like taking over uh, land masses and even animals and uh, so what belongs here and what doesn't belong here how do you know that like the you know is it is it the sprites world is it your world is it the constructs world is it the rogue life and hopefully you know you will be able to form theories on those the world definitely responds to you in a different way than it responds to everything else everything is locked in a struggle for survival your character has agency so you can there are there are things that you can do you're changing the world you're affecting it and you're kind of seeing what those what what is the ripple effect of your playthrough as you go everyone's working really hard one of our level designers rick left somewhere around 9 30 10 last night and he all i saw was he just tweeted a gif of like a guy walking in the front door and falling face first and i was like yep that's idiot and it's so sorry rick it's only wednesday but it's always exciting and terrifying when you get this close because there's still so much to do but it's also more finished than it ever has been and you can see changes every day you know and it, it's, everything is so fast and but also so critical with the time pressure because we've had to find a different audience i'm seeing a lot more uh people getting really excited i was just we released this last dev diary was about combat and traversal and hob and i went to look at the um, PlayStation put theirs out too on their own YouTube channel and I went and I read all the comments today, which you should never do. And I was incredibly pleasantly surprised. There was not one negative comment.